This is my 3D animatronic reverse engineering an animatronic digitally to where I make the movements first and just the creature skull and everything. I added three servos in the head. This is a small basic bond that I'm having to uh, print this on a resin printer, the digital sculpt done with ZBrush. And as you hear, I tested the movements after I get everything worked out there. I made a digital core, and that's the sculpt on in ZBrush. But I also made molds of my teeth, which I also did in Sculptress, and made silicone molds and replaced them with dental acrylic. But here's the, the digital core that I had to sculpt on. So I exported it into uh, ZBrush, and the plates in the core are exactly the same size and as you see here this is the digital core here's the sculpt resin printed and then i made a mold box so i can mold it and after molding i use a spray release so silicone won't stick to silicone and i did a number of these tests to try to figure out which one would be the softest for this animatronic and I inserted the core inside there to give me the perfect thickness that would fit this animatronic skull. Then I started uh, getting ready, doing some testing to glue this with another chemical called Silpoxy adhesive for silicone. But uh, my whole goal is to make this as realistic as possible, but yet small. It's just... Uh, uh, proof of concept I've been researching this for a number of years and, and I'm pretty close some things uh, didn't work as much as I wanted it to but I'm getting there but I just wanted to share what I've been using ZBrush for so thank you